Chapman and Brian Tong here with that Googleicious for everything Google that we can pack inside of a show. Now we're just a day away from Google's I.O. 2015, so let's jump into everything we expect to see from the big G at the event. Now it's a no-brainer that we'll see plenty of the next Android OS, Android M, currently codenamed Macadamia Nut Cookie. Yummy. Now the official build most likely won't be available until the fall, but a report from Android Police says this version will take on a renewed focus on battery life and RAM usage. It's not the sexiest features, but still super important for users, and we expect Google to release a dev preview of Android M at the event. Reports also claim that Android M will finally include native fingerprint authentication. Users will be able to log into all of the supported applications on their Android devices without entering a password. Now, if you remember, the Nexus 6 was widely expected to release with a fingerprint scanner, but it was scrapped before the phone actually launched. Google now is also expected to get beefed up. They opened up their API to work with about 40 different apps earlier in the year, and we expect that to open up even more. And right now, these aren't the flashiest updates, but improvements that will really make an impact. Now, Macadamia Nut Cookie won't be the official name. See, you remember when Key Lime Pie turned into Kit Kat or Lemon Meringue Pie turned into Lollipop. Most people think it's going to be Android Marshmallow that's softer, fluffier, and even yummier. But we won't know until its official release. Now, we haven't seen a new piece of Chromecast hardware for two years, and Google has let it just do its thing on the side. Google claimed in January they have casted over 1 billion pieces of content. At I.O. this year, there are several sessions focusing on bringing games to the big screen with Chromecast, and you have to think that new and more powerful hardware will be part of that solution, so I'm guessing we'll see a new Chromecast this year. Now, smartwatches are still the cat's meow to manufacturers, and yes, the Apple Watch is getting a lot of the buzz still, but Android Wear will get its time to shine. Google knows that fitness is one area they are trailing behind with Android Wear, and we expect to potentially see more of a focus on the Google Fit platform that was previewed last year. But again, it's all about the apps, even if they are super lightweight ones. Now, the smart home is still the next platform that tech companies are planting seeds for. We aren't there yet, but according to the information, Google is planning on releasing a build of Android capable of running on devices with as little as 32 megabytes of RAM, codenamed Brillo. The previous minimum Android requirement was 512 megabytes of RAM, which was meant for smartphones and wearables, but this is clearly a new version of Android made to power other less demanding devices. The report also says Brillo is targeting connected home devices instead of the whole Internet of Things. We don't know how it will work with Google's Nest product yet, but if it's ready to unveil, we should see it at I.O. this year. And the star of the show might not be any of this. It might just come down to photos. We know that Google is breaking up Google Plus and taking its top services like Photos and Hangouts and working on them as standalone products. Now, Android Police got an exclusive early look at the new Photos app, and it's completely free of Google Plus. The app will still let you search for people, animals, or objects and back up your photos automatically. You'll now have different views to choose to look at your collection. You can interact by pinching and swiping on photos to open them. You'll also be able to do this cool drag to select multiple photos move and there's a whole new bunch of editing features. All right, on the hardware side, Android Police reports that there will be no new Nexus tablet in 2015, and the Nexus 9 will remain the flagship. But instead, two new phones will be released by Google, one built by LG with a 5.2-inch screen codenamed Angler, and a 5.2-inch screen phone built by Huawei codenamed Bullhead. It will be the first time Google has released two Nexus phones in one year, and according to the report, this is the plan. Now, no specs were given for the phones. And before we go, I had to include this totally unrelated to Google Eye, but the best thing I've seen on the internet today, Samsung has finally released an official unboxing of the Iron Man themed Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, and I just wet myself. See, it comes in this special packaging with a clear cover and a wireless charger that looks like an arc reactor. Goodness. Now, the phone is launching in Korea pretty much today. It will be available in China and Hong Kong sometime next month, but no word on the U.S. And I'm just saying, I need a wireless charger that looks like a freaking arc reactor. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. You can always email us at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. And just a reminder, starting at 9.30 a.m., we'll have everything before the Google I.O., during it, and after all the live coverage here on CNET.com on the 28th. Thanks for watching. We'll talk about everything from Google I.O. next week, and we'll catch you next time on that Google Licious.
Googleicious.